Hey guys, it's Brandon Miniman from Pocketnow.com. If you've been waiting to get ice cream sandwich on your Nexus S, you can do it now and we'll show you how in this video. Let's get to it. So Google is going to be releasing ice cream sandwich for the Nexus S in particular, and lots of OEMs are going to be releasing updates for devices that are out now. Uh, but right now, this is the beta version of Ice Cream Sandwich on the Nexus S. There's a lot of force closes. You probably could use this as your daily driver if you wanted to, but really it's more so for test purposes right now. And generally, it, it works quite well. All the features are there, Wi-Fi, data, everything is working. Uh, we'll put a link up in the description and tell you exactly where to go to get the files. All you need is a rooted Nexus S, and it's extremely easy to uninstall. It's like installing any other ROM. So let's talk about Ice Cream Sandwich and how it feels on an actual phone. We've given you a tour of how Ice Cream Sandwich feels in an emulator, but there's nothing like getting it on an actual phone and feeling what it is, what kind of experience it brings. So of course in Ice Cream Sandwich we have multiple home screens, and along the bottom we have a little slider that shows you which home screen you are on. We also have the dock on the bottom here, which you can add and remove to. So let's say we just want to put settings down here. Very easy, very obvious stuff to do. There's a new application tray, um, which is organized by apps and widgets. And you can swipe to the right, and you see again that little notification down there, or that little slider that shows you which screen you're on. We can also go over to widgets, and this is right out of Honeycomb, the tablet UI. So we can take an analog clock, drag it over to a screen on the right, pop it there. We can go back into the, uh, the widget tray here, slide over to the right. You've got many pages of widgets, as you can see here. We can add a Google search to this page and drop it there. And there you go. It's, uh, it's very simple. It's very reminiscent of, of using Honeycomb. And there's a lot of other little changes. Like to add wallpaper, you no longer tap on the menu button. In fact, that does nothing in a lot of cases. You tap on the background, and that'll bring up your wallpaper picker. <laughs> kind of makes sense, doesn't it? Um, so another thing you can do with Ice Cream Sandwich is selectively wipe away notifications. And there's actually going to be an alarm that goes off in a minute uh, so that we can test that out. But before we do, let's jump into the browser because the browser UI has been changed a little bit. So we're already loading here m.ngadget.com. And maybe we need to refresh it there. Okay, here it is. And over here on the left, if you tap on the fave icon, you can actually change between mobile and desktop view right on the fly, which is a great feature. There's also a new UI for switching between open tabs. So this is what it looks like. It's pretty fast. It's pretty quick and intuitive. So let's go to Pocket Now here. The browser's pretty fast. It's, it's definitely buggy in this beta version of Ice Cream Sandwich. In fact, it's not even working most of the time. And there it goes. It's a lot better with mobile web pages. OK, so there we have an alarm. And if we hit snooze, we go to the notification shade. There it is. Watch this. You can swipe off, or maybe not. I guess alarms you can't swipe off because it's still there. But things like text messages and emails, you can wipe off the screen. Uh, which is a really nice feature. So we've got lots of new widgets that come right out of Honeycomb, kind of these built-in widgets that are almost a frame. So we can scroll within the widget itself, which is nice. We can tap and hold on it and resize it, although kind of limited in how you can resize it. In this case, you really can't at all. But a lot of the other widgets you can resize, which is nice, so you can really take advantage of your home screen space. We've got this Google search bar right on the home screen. It'll bring up a Google search, obviously. Uh, let's dive into settings here and see what has changed. A lot of things have changed. They've really reorganized the whole settings menu. So instead of getting item after item after item, you get categories. So there's wireless and network, there's device, there's personal, and everything has this holographic UI look and feel, kind of looking like the Tron movie, right? So with these fluorescent blue colors and very modern looking interface that they've brought to Ice Cream Sandwich. So this data usage thing is cool, but it only works if you have a data card in. Uh, this will work with your data connection, this beta version of Ice Cream Sandwich, so you can test it out. It lets you set caps so that, for example, when you get to a 250 megabyte uh, data cap, it'll tell you so you don't go over and are charged an overage. Let's go back. We've got a lot of other things that are taken out of gingerbread and honeycomb. Let's go to application, see if anything has changed there. So we got a kind of a, a new UI here, and we can swipe to the right, or sometimes you can. Uh, you can tap to the right. See if that swipe works. 
it works in some screens, but not in others. For example, if you go to the phone UI, you'll get three tabs along the top. See that? And we can actually swipe between them. Really cool effect there. Kind of reminds us of Windows Phone 7, actually, the way that it does that. Let's go back into the settings menu, see what else is in there. So the stuff you're used to seeing, accounts in sync, security, backup and reset. If we go into About Phone, you'll see that we're running on Android 4.0. Now there's the new multitask UI in Ice Cream Sandwich. It's taken right out of Honeycomb. So if we tap and hold on the home button, you'll see what I mean. Uh, it shows you open previews of all the apps that are open. This is a cool UI because you can take out your thumb and kind of flick between them and land on the one that you want very easily. Now what you'll find is that a device like the Galaxy Nexus has a constant built-in virtual multitask button along with the home button and the back button, just like Honeycomb. Older hardware like the Nexus S, you still have to take advantage of the hardware keys, which means that the multitask UI isn't one tap away, it's always going to be a tap and hold tap away because the home button here has to serve two purposes, whereas on the Galaxy Nexus there's a home button and a multitask button. So It'll work on legacy hardware, no problem, just not as intuitively as you'll find on the Galaxy Nexus that's coming out and future ice cream sandwich hardware. Let's dive into the mail application. Hopefully there's nothing there that uh, is private. Doesn't look like it. So the mail application looks and feels a lot like Honeycomb once again. So we've got quick actions on the bottom. Uh, if we go into the menu, there are far fewer options. There are only two options. They're really trying to take in, in Ice Cream Sandwich, the, the settings out of the menu and kind of put it right in front of you. So here we have all these buttons. If we tap on items, these things down here will change and you can impact what has been checked with these buttons. And that way you're not having to dive into the menu all the time. The functions that you use the most are out in the front. So really nice new email UI. There's also a nice new calendar UI. And here's what it looks like, and of course you can drill down into uh, the days and, and everything like that. And also folders are a little bit different in Ice Cream Sandwich. As you can see, they pop up. They're kind of nicer looking. And let's see how you add a new folder. If we take this and dump it on top of there. Hey, does that look familiar? Yeah, it comes from the iPhone. Um, so you drop it in there and you get a little preview and a little listing of all of the apps that are within the folder. Unnamed folder, so you can rename it. You know, hello. Done. Now you have the Hello folder and the Google Apps folder, which contains all of the Google Apps that you've come to expect. So a lot of little changes and a lot of UI changes in Ice Cream Sandwich. Definitely the biggest interface change in a while. What we're going to do is spend a few days with this. We're going to update it once the new beta comes out and give you a, rep a report once we get to spend a bunch of time with it on how Ice Cream Sandwich feels on legacy hardware. And of course, we'll be getting the Galaxy Nexus in here relatively soon and show you how a made for ice cream sandwich device looks and feels. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And again, check the description if you've got a Nexus S and you want to try this on your own. Thanks for watching. That's it for now.